How has that been, that decision to operationalize a new engine technology? And, you know, we kind of reflect that the, 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 the war in Ukraine um, and the consequences of that was, was very impactful for, for space. Well, it took a little bit longer to develop this rocket engine. It is the largest engine of that fuel type to be successfully put together. And that just took a little while longer. Now that the engine is developed and qualified, we love it. Great performance. It's going to be an awesome workhorse for us. In terms of the Ukraine situation, we weren't really affected. That would have affected the retiring Atlas V with its RD-180 rocket engine, but I had anticipated ahead of time not that Ukraine would be invaded, but that the relationship with Russia was on a downward trend. And once our future was clear, I ordered ahead and received all of the RD-180s I would ever need to fly out Atlas. Now I have them in a warehouse in Alabama and have just been flying them as I need them. Blue Origin is itself also going under some change, some transition to new leadership. But the kind of constant is Jeff Bezos. And I wondered what your relationship with Jeff is like. Oh, very constructive. You, you know, we're, it's a teaming arrangement. You know, your major suppliers are always really your strategic partners. And that's especially true for us because our big suppliers invest in our rocket and in their product along with us. Jeff is no different. I was speaking to him just a few days ago as we were working together to help them ramp up their production rate for our eventual needs. And like I said, we love the engine, and I think we're going to have a bright future together. That, that's interesting. It, do you find Jeff to kind of be hands-on? Is he somebody that you can phone and sort of talk at a high-level engineering basis with, or is he kind of more strategic in how he deals with you guys? Well, I, I think he is a very strategic person, obviously, but I will tell you he's a very good engineer and he is not afraid to dive down into the details. You know, you might find it amusing that, you know, we nerds get together and <laughs> we love to talk about propulsion technology. And I find Jeff very easy to discuss those issues with. He's fast, he picks them up. And he's a good teammate. He'll work with you to, you know, get through the technical challenges of doing this sort of innovative and, and new work.